Before we start, I need to uh, make a couple of housekeeping announcements. Firstly, if the fire alarm sounds, please leave the chamber by the nearest door. Then follow the humiliated fire exit signs and assemble in the car park at the rear of the building. You have the right to film this meeting if you so wish, but I would like to know before we begin whether anyone in the room plans to do this. If you, in, if you in, intend to film the meeting or part of it, would you please indicate now? Okay. Also, would you please ensure that your phones are either on silent mode or switched off? Before I say any more, I need to deal with a couple of formalities first. Apologies for absence. Uh, apologies for absence have so far been received from Councillor Baxter, Fielding, C. Walker, Councillor Rayner and Councillor Kay. Are there any other apologies? Mm -hmm. The next item is the declaration of interest. Do any members or officers have any interest to declare on in any items included on the agenda? Okay. So now, thank you. So, welcome to all members and guests to the annual meeting for the 20, 2024. But before I make my retiring speech, I have the honour of presenting the HMS Sheraton Trophy. And I am very pleased to announce that the winner of the Sheraton Trophy this year is Horatio Broomhall. So please come to receive the trophy, Horatio. Well, okay, well, over here. Okay, the next is my retiring speech. I know there looks a few pages here, but it's, it's not that long. <laughs> it's big writing. <laughs> so welcome to honorary aldermen, county councillors, councillors, officers, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen. I have just completed the fastest years of my life. Two years have flown by. I, know, I knew that uh, it was going to be an hectic time, but it has been extraordinary. Richard and I have been at a, at a loss for something to do, and my garden bears testimony to this, and it looks a bit of a sorry state. My first year, 22-23, was an, a unique one. The Duke of Lancaster's regiment exercised the row right as free men of the borough and marched through Polton, where I inspected the troops and took the salute. We were all shocked at the passing of Queen Elizabeth II on the 8th of September. On the 12th of September, it was my solemn duty to bring the words of the proclamation to the res residents of the borough. Over these last two years, I have accepted hundreds of engagements. I have attended the Buckingham Palace Garden Party, many town and local events. I have opened fates and galas, attended school assemblies, given interviews, been to school nativities, attended shows, hosted questions and answers with schools and scouts groups in the council chamber, welcomed and entertained visiting dignitaries, visited nursing homes, given talks, and attended countless civic services and dinners, made speeches, and won only two raffle prizes. <laughs> I have been supported in this by my husband Richard, my consort, and my mum Ada who has taken on the responsibility of being at consort when the occasion required, when Richard was unable to attend. While thanks are being passed out, I would like to thank the Chief Executive Rebecca, the Democrats and Officers at Wire Council for their support and guidance. I would like to thank my fellow councillors 
for their support they have given me through their last two years and the Youth Mayor Zachary. It has been a pleasure working with you. As you may have gathered, the mayorality involves numerous engagements and in wire, but across the county and beyond, and the logistics can be rather challenging. Fortunately, we have two talented and dedicated individuals who ensure that the morality runs smoothly. In fact, like a whale old machine. They are Peter Hutton, the Mayor's attendant, and Deborah Thornton, the Mayor's civic officer, which has made this job a lot easier. So thank you to you both. My chaplain, Reverend John Squires, for his continued support and friendship. And a special thank you to my deputy, Councillor Sue Catterall, and her consort, Steve Mothersdale, for always being there for us. I would also like to take this opportunity to say a special thank you to two individual councillors who have served on this council and their ward for over 25 years. I am sure 25 years ago, these councillors didn't get the negative abuse on social media and was applauded for the positive they did in their local communities, improving the community both local and across the borough. These two councils are Lady Dulce Atkins and Lynn Bowen. Both these councillors have represented their wards and provided a bridge between community and council and shaped the future of our local area. So, Thank you very much to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was asked when I did a radio interview, what was my message to the people of why it would be? And I didn't really, uh, didn't really think about, about a message, but it struck me that my message would be get involved. Being mayor has given me a much greater knowledge of our wonderful air, wire area. And throughout the last two years, I have met a variety of volunteers and people and been impressed with the dedication many of them uh, have made to the lives in the people in, the people in their communities. So uh, talking of making lives better, one of my, the privileges of being mayor is to be able to nominate charities to receive donations and fundraising monies. Over the last two years, I have organized 17 fundraising events, including mayoral ball, race nights, afternoon tea parties, painting classes, concerts and fashion shows. Too many to mention. I have supported six charities. This last year, I am pleased to support three local charities. Headway, which obviously they support people who are suffering from acute brain injuries and they also support families. Sam's Place, who support children with special needs with, uh, that are 15 plus, and Fleetwood Beach Wheelchairs, which provides disabled people access to the beach and shoreline. So I would now like to invite each charity representative to come to the front to receive their donation letters. So if the, if the representative of Headway would like to come forward.
to receive this check, which, as you know, every penny will go towards continuing to put people back onto the beach who sometimes have never been there before. Our charity uh, pays nobody, and uh, we live entirely by donation. And it's this photographic album. I am delighted to be able to pass on the chain of office to Councillor Jane Preston, as I am sure that she will make an excellent mayor and throw herself into the job wholeheartedly. Finally, thank you to everyone in WIRE who have been very warm and welcoming at the events that I have attended and supported in my fundraising endeavours. It has been a great pleasure and a huge honour to be your mayor, and I will leave with many happy memories of my two years in office. Thank you. The next item on the in elect is the election of mayor for 24-25. Can I please have a nomination for the office of mayor for 24-25? Yes, uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, Madam Mayor, councillors, county councillors, honorary aldermen, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen. Councillor Preston was born in Blackburn. After I met with Jane, she texted me to ask if she was the youngest mayor. She won't be, uh, but she is the youngest female mayor I am aware of, having made absolutely no effort to check the ages of any of her predecessors. <laughs> so we've agreed to go with that. So as maintaining her uh, outbound youthfulness is important to her, all I will say is that she was born prior to 1990. Uh, the family moved to Cleveland when Jane was eight, and her brother Matthew was born four years later, uh, which was also prior to 1990, uh, to her parents Rosita and Kevin Woods. Jane attended Northfold School and then Fleetwood High School before joining Ian Clegg and Crowther at Solicitors in Blackpool as an office junior earning £50 a week. She did her A-levels at her own expense at night school and during this period she took English and Maths just to prove that she could. At university was beyond the means of the family and so Councillor Preston moved to work at Estates and Law before then working at Skipton Building Society. In 1999, she married Stephen, and so they will celebrate their 25th wedding anniversary this year. Jane met Stephen when they were at school. He went to Cardinal Allen, and she openly admits that she couldn't stand him at first, as she thought he was arrogant. Or at least she openly admitted that to me, uh, and may regret doing so. Uh, Stephen tried to run her over with his BMX, as he thought it was funny, but one day they played football together, uh, and their friendship blossomed from there. They got together aged 13 and have been an item ever since. Jane's always loved football, and despite being named after the most despicable football team there is, she's a proud supporter of Blackpool Football Club. Their son Joe was born in 2001, and the family have spent years watching Blackpool home and away together. Jane worked at the council in 2002 as a council tax recovery officer before going to work for Nestle selling chocolate. She considers this to be the first step of her career path that's taken her to where she is today. She then moved to Bernard Matthews, just in time for Jamie Oliver killing the turkey Twizzler. And she soon twizzled out of the door to Northern Foods, a £50 billion company where she worked as a national account manager. Here, she learned to uh, operate in an incredibly tough marketplace and learned quickly that every meeting was a battle. She now works for Traderwin Springs as a director. The company supplies flavoured water to supermarkets and her day-to-day -day involves ensuring all of her customers are kept well stocked with their products. Away from work, Jane enjoys Zumba and walking her dogs. Frankie Furter, who you may be able to work out is a sausage dog, and Jerry the Berry, who is an inexplicably named Hungarian Vizsla. Stephen is the director of a large company as well, so the time they spend together is, in, uh, is valuable and they enjoy it, uh, having simple pleasures such as going working or having a chat. They cherish their time with their son Joe, who has his own busy life now, but the three of them still try and make time for each other. Jane has asked that I say many times that she's a good singer. I have not heard, nor do I wish to hear, any evidence of this. Madam Mayor, Councillor Preston will be an excellent mayor, 
uh, and I take great pleasure in proposing that Councillor Jane Preston be elected to the Office of Mayor of the Borough of Wyre for the municipal year 24-25. Thank you. Is there a seconder for that proposal? Uh, yes, Madam Mayor, I'd like to second the proposal. Uh, Madam Mayor, County Councillors, Councillors, Aldermen, family, friends and guests. Uh, Councillor Vincent has spoken about Jane's background, family and jobs. Uh, I could spend the next hour and a half talking about Jane's love of cakes. Uh, don't worry, I'll keep it short and sweet. I was looking at a list of cakes from around the world and there was one particular cake that jumped out at me. Uh, it's from Colombia and it mixes perfectly two of Jane's favourite things and it's one which I will be thinking of making myself very soon. It's called wine cake. Um, Jane is my world council partner and she's done an amazing job since being elected. I've known her now for quite a number of years. I've always found her to be kind, caring, funny and loud. All traits which will come in very handy over the next year. I know there is one person that Jane will be missing tonight and that's her mum who recently passed away. I'm certain that she will be extremely proud uh, of, of you this evening and that you will do her very proud of the coming 12 months. <coughs> it gives me the greatest pleasure to be able to second you for the role of mayor. I wish you the greatest time, the greatest love and the very best of luck. Thank you for that. Are there any other further nominations? So those four. Those against? Abstentions. The abstentions? So that's so Councillor Jane Preston is duly elected officer of the Office of Mayor for 2024-25. There will now be a short break before the new mayor uh, takes the chair for the remainder of the meeting. So thank you very much. I will now make my acceptance speech. Thank you for the opportunity to serve the borough that has given me so much throughout my life. It's a great honour to be sat here thinking of the very exciting year ahead. During the term, I will be supporting two charities. The first one will be Fleetwood Town Community Trust. They conduct so many community projects and their reach is not just Fleetwood. They provide projects throughout the borough. Their mission is to provide socially inclusive community health and engagement programmes which aim to make a difference to the lives of people within the community. The trust is in the heart of the community and it would be fantastic if we could all make the effort to be involved in any events that raise funds as this benefits the area as a whole. My second charity is Sam's Place. This charity is very close to my heart. They provide support for young adults and I've witnessed the work firsthand from the, friend, from the work they do and my friend's son Cameron is here tonight. Um, the things that we take for granted, such as seeing your child, go to the cinema or just go to dinner with friends, are some of the things that the team at Sam's Place provide coaching for so that they're able to go out and enjoy these kinds of activities. They give them the confidence to be the best they can. These projects not also help the young adults, but the families too. And I'm sure if you speak to Lynn Cameron's mum, she'll be all happy to share her experiences. It's my privilege to work um, providing um, support for these inspirational charities. I would also like to make it clear that during my time as mayor, I will chair the meetings of full council in accordance with the constitution, and I will accept all council, expect all councillors to respect with the chamber, the constitution, and each other. Whilst I understand that the chamber is a place for political debate and disagreement, but overall this is a platform for council business, and, and should this cross the conduct cross the line, I will exercise my powers written in the Constitution to ensure that we can all continue with the business of Council. Finally, I remind councillors that whilst we conduct, conduct business of the Council, any disrespectful behaviour towards our officers will not be tolerated. I can trust, I can depend on you all. My consort for the year 24-25 will, will be Mr Stephen Preston. 
Um, please could you stand up to receive your chains? Madam Mayor, um, Madam Mayor, Councillors, County Councillors, Honorary Aldermen, Honoured Guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Councillor Robinson uh, is a record breaker, having served two years as Mayor, uh, the first uh, councillor to do so. We've had 18 month mayors before, but not, not two years. Being Mayor is not an easy job, uh, and particularly so when you're committed to the role and the people of Wyre as Julie is. Madam Mayor, I must also thank uh, the Mayor's retiring consort, Richard. Uh, his is a role which takes up a lot of time, but he doesn't really get any of the credit, despite that he's there nearly all of the time. Uh, so, Madam Mayor, uh, thank you very much to Julie, who's put everything she had into the mayoralty for two years. When we asked her to step up uh, last year after the election, which was unexpected, uh, she did so, she did so gladly, and she's put everything she has into it. So, uh, we should all be grateful to her for that. Uh, so, Madam, <laughs> I take great pleasure uh, in proposing that the best of thanks for this council will be tendered to Julie Robinson for the valuable services which she, be, she has rendered to the borough during her term of office as mayor and for the courtesy and impartiality with which she has presided over the deliberations of this council and that the thanks of the council also be tendered to Richard Robinson for the valuable services which he has rendered as her consort. Councillor Berry, would you please formally second the proposed vote of thanks? Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. Madam Mayor, Alderman, uh, councillors and honoured guests, um, it gives me great pleasure to second this vote of thanks uh, to our outgoing Mayor. Councillor Robinson, Julie, uh, you've had a great two years as our mayor. The facts and figures speak for themselves. You've attended over 400 events and held 17 fundraising uh, events for your, your charities. I'm sure you'll have visited virtually every parish hall and community centre in the borough and met with thousands of our residents and business owners all of which promotes the unity and sense of belonging to our great borough. But these facts and figures do not reflect the honour and dignity you've brought to the office of mayor and the enthusiasm and obvious enjoyment you've brought to the social events you've attended. Whether this is calling the bingo numbers or helping to serve tea and coffee, you've really entered to the spirit of all the events that you've been to. And I'm sure this has enhanced the enjoyment of these events and made it all worthwhile for the organisers. Well, after this evening, uh, you can put your feet up, uh, at least for a couple of days, because um, you'll be soon back doing your duties as, as councillor for Hamilton and Stolmine. But you will always be able to reflect on a job well done. Thank you so much for all you've done for this borough. I second that. Would councillors please vote to show their support for that proposal? All those for. I think that's unanimous. Thank you. I will now present the following. Past Mayor's badge to, Rich, uh, to Councillor Julie Robinson. Past Consort badge to Richard, Robin, uh, Richard Robinson. Please make your way to the microphone to my right to receive your badges.
Thank you. The next item is election of De Deputy Mayor for 24-25. Please can I have a nomination for Deputy Mayor. May, may I nominate? Right. So, okay. <laughs> Madam Mayor, County Councillors, Councillors, Aldermen, family, friends and guests. I'd like to nominate uh, Steve Nichols for the Deputy Mayorality. Um, my speech will be short and sweet as he describes himself. Uh, <coughs> Steve comes from the wonderful city of Liverpool, although he's never Um <coughs> As you, as you would expect from a proud scouser, he, as you would expect from a proud scouser, uh, he has humour and a gift of the gab that goes along with it. Steve worked as a, a funeral director in his home city, then Wolverhampton, and finally here on the Fylde Coast. He's a very active member of Pulton Rotary, and he's heavily involved in organising the music for the Pulton Gala. He serves on the Baines Charity and the Licensing Committee Volunteer Centre for Blackpool Filed and Wire. With his friendly and open personality, coupled with his fantastic communication skills, I do not hesitate in nominating him for the position of Deputy Mayor for our borough and know he will carry out that role exceedingly well. As the previous Mayor said, he will get involved. So uh, I would I'd like to propose that Steve Nichols be elected to the Office of Deputy Mayor for the year 2024-2025. Can I please have a seconder for that proposal? Um, thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, um, Madam Mayor, County Councillors, Councillors, Honorary Alderman, family, friends and guests, I'm happy to second the proposal for Steve Nichols as the Deputy Mayor-elect. Um, I first met Steve Nichols at a Pol Polton Gala meeting where a number of volunteers had come together to resurrect Polton Gala and quickly got to know Steve with his lively sense of humour, personality, but also his drive, commitment and hard work. As um, Simon's alluded to, um, Steve has been a strong member of Polton Rotary for goodness knows how long, and still in this year he has fought hammer and tooth to keep the fight bonfire at Polton alive. He's a strong member of the community, he's a passionate Liverpoolian, he's got a great sense of humour, and he'll be an excellent Deputy Mayor. So I'm happy to second the proposal. Thank you. Are there any further nominations? All those four? Against? Abstentions? I declare that Councillor Steve Nichols be duly appointed as Deputy Mayor for 
Councillor Nichols, would you like to say a few words? I would indeed. I apologise for recovering from a cold. My normal lyrical scouse tones might be a little bit gruff tonight. I am certainly going to support Jane as best as I can. She'll do an excellent job and I'll certainly do my best to help her to do that. Could I just mention that there are a number of people, or maybe quite a number, that disagree with the change in how the mayoralty has decided. You're all entitled to the, your views, but can I ask you to consider the point that councillors normally deal with ward affairs at a measured pace. It flows along bit by bit. You might have meetings with one or two people or a few people. And then at the ripe old age of whatever and long service, you're suddenly asking someone to jump in to over a hundred public appearances where you may be speaking to hundreds of people. I personally don't think that's fair. I, I think that councillors of long service should be honoured in a different way. It's only my opinion, but you've all got your opinions and I've got mine, so thank you. I will now present the following. Past Deputy Mayor Badge to Councillor Catterall, Past Deputy Consort Badge to Stephen Mothersdale. Please make your way to the microphone to my right to receive your badges. Thank you. The next item is item 8, Mayor's Communications. Um, the newly elected Mayor has received many messages of support and congratulations and it's my privilege to be able to read some of those out this evening. Um, so messages have been received from uh, the team at Coastal DAB, who would like to say a huge congratulations to Jane on becoming the new Mayor of Wire. Lady Alexandra Tinsley and Captain David Tinsley, who have known Jane for many years in both a professional and personal capacity, say that she is kind, helpful and professional. And they would like to both wish Jane all the best for her mayoral term. Uh, Joe Preston and Kevin Chard are so proud of you and say that your Nana would be as well. Simon Preston would like to say huge congratulations on being appointed Wire Mayor. What a fantastic achievement and what a huge asset you'll be to the borough. Paul Booth, a former colleague and friend, um, wants to congratulate Jane on, becoming, um, on being selected as Mayor. He added that she's a very worthy recipient of the office and know that you will bring your tenacity and hard work ethic to the post. Uh, with Stephen by your side, you'll bring your own style to the role and be a great success. Sarah Richer is absolutely over the moon for Jane and would like to congratulate her. Dan Whiston and the Zumba Gang, um, Joanne, Paula and Freddie wish Jane the best of luck. Matthew, Lorna and Sophia would like to congratulate um, Jane on becoming mayor and they added that your mum would be incredibly proud. Um, Marcia and Jeff have sent a congratulations card. Lynn Webster, Cameron, Glenn, Kerry and David Jones have also sent their congratulations. And just <laughs> in the last hour I've received, there's a few more cards here. Um, heartfelt congratulations on becoming Mayor of Wire. Enjoy the experience uh, from Councillor Julie Robinson. And the final one I have is, uh, congratulations, have a wonderful year as Mayor and Mayor's Consort, with love, Barry and Colette. The next item is item nine, the Youth Mayor. I will now make an announcement regarding the Youth Mayor. I have the pleasure, oh no, that's not right, is it? Is that one that's been done? Yes. 
Right, thank you. Our outgoing youth mayor, Zachary Shaw, for all your hard work during your time as youth mayor. Please come up to the front to receive your token of appreciation. That concludes this evening's ceremonial proceedings. We will now proceed with item 10 on the agenda, which is appointments to committees, panels and groups 24-25. Councillor Vincent, would you please introduce the report and propose the recommendations? Excuse me. I, I just want to make a, a well, ask about number two on the agenda seems to be an overlooked, which is confirmation of the minutes of the last meeting. I was just going to mention that, Councillor Sorensen. It has, it has been missed because it's on the, it's on the council agenda but it's not within the Mayor's script, so we're going to do it at the next full Council meeting. Right, OK. okay. Um, Madam Mayor, um, the report's before members. Uh, happy to propose it. Is there a seconder for the proposal? I'll second, Madam Mayor. Are there any comments, questions or amendments? Councillor Fail. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Just one observation which I hope will be taken on board for the future. Uh, it could be seen as somewhat inappropriate for Councillor Rendell and Councillor Dulcie Atkins to be listed as members of the Planning Policy Working Group by means of them being the current Chair and Vice Chair of the Planning Committee. Firstly, because the only requirement of the Policy Group's terms of reference is for it to be, include two members of the Planning Committee, there is no mention of a requirement for those two members to be the Chair and Vice Chair. And secondly, even if it were, were, was such a requirement, the individual committees are about to elect new chairs and vice chairs. So we seem to be getting ahead of ourselves. And of course, Conservative councillors voted last month for the revised councillor development strategy, which included the statement, leave politics at the door, when referring to the committees. With that in mind, I'm fully expecting that this newfound way of working will be adhered to, resulting in Labour taking on some of the chair and vice chair roles across the council. So by listing named people as the chair and vice chair of any committees, you could find it out of date in the coming days and weeks. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, it is factually correct that Councillor Richard Rendell is currently the chairman of the planning committee. Uh, and if they wish to propose people to be the chairs of committees, just like we propose people to be the chairs of committees, there will be a vote on it and the committees will decide who their chairs are. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Would members be please now vote on the recommendations? Those in favour? That's unanimous. The recommendations are approved. Councillor Vincent, would you please introduce the report and propose the recommendations? I have to propose the report, Madam Mayor. Is there a second for the proposal? Uh, I'd like to second that, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Are there any comments, questions or amendments? Would members please vote now on the recommendations? 
close four. Recognition is anonymous, it's approved. That's it now. Thank you. That concludes the meeting. Would members, guests, please join me for light refreshments? In order to ensure that everyone is catered for promptly, would VIPs and personal guests please go first, followed by councillors' refreshments? Uh, by councillors, refreshments are available in the mayor's lounge. <laughs>